Hey folks, how's it going? Uh, after a month-long World of Warcraft addiction and severe hay fever, we've got another video. Uh, we're going to be talking about some OBS tricks that I use. Um, mainly just focused right in on scene nesting, why you should do it, how it works, how you can do it, and kind of the benefits and pros and cons kind of as to why I use it and why you should probably maybe rearrange and look at using it. So we'll take a look here at uh, OBS. I'm now in this little bomb corner losing this magic. Uh, so looking at this OBS, it's blank obviously because I don't use this set of scenes. Um, but it's just an example. So when I've seen other people's streams or other people's OBS settings, it looks kind of similar to like this. You've got like a start and soon screen, uh, games but there's no camera, BRB, finishing scene, one that's just called scene, like how do you know what's in that? Uh, BRB, overall it looks kind of messy. So we're aimed today is to solve that problem. So to show you the, the ones that I use, uh, we're going to here, this is what mine looks like. So I've got one that's got the scenes that the stream sees. So you've got BRB, gameplay, just chatting, starting, and then full screen webcam. I've got some combined ones, so I've got a border for the webcam. Chuck them all in there. I've got raw sources, so just alerts, just desktop view, just gameplay view, just camera view. Dead simple. And then I use per scene audio. So I've got audio sources as well. But in order to show you how to set it up, um, but it's easier to start for nothing. So I'll clear it and we'll take a look. Okay, so I've cleared the scenes. There's nothing else on it. It's important to note the one thing that this with the big long kind of hyphen line isn't a scene. We're not going to use that as a scene. That is a header for like a scene category. You unfortunately can't group scenes in OBS and we're not using any plugins or anything to do this. So we're, we're naming them like this. So then we're not going to use this scene. But first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and add, uh, we're going to create a, a gameplay scene. So we're going to have your camera, alerts, uh, your gameplay scene, and then like a combined scene with everything together. So we'll start off by creating the, the scene that the stream sees. So make some hyphens. I think it looks neater. We'll have stream, let's say only gameplay, right? So stream sees gameplay. We're going to then duplicate this first one and we're going to rename it as um, stream scene inputs. Okay. So you can see here that the hyphens have kind of separated it and all the, te all the text is, is different places so that you can, you can read it. It's like a header. And here we're going to go gameplay scene and here you would have all your game captures so we'd have game capture this is a game capture there Look. there'll be no games on it i don't have any games open but what you do is in this one scene whether you're playing minecraft rainbow six overwatch doesn't matter what you add all those game so game capture sources into this one scene and when you get this scene in your main scene, it'll detect automatically what you're playing and it'll pull up the source. We're then going to add a scene for the camera. So we'll go uh, camera. So I'm going to call this one camera source. We're going to go into here, add a video capture device. I think this should be my camera. No. There we are. So here's the camera. Magic. So this is just a scene for your camera only and I'll show you why in a minute but that's all that's in there so once you're, once you're done adding stuff you got it scaled up, lock it into place and you're good to go finally we're going to create a alerts we're going to go in add our browser source that we've got from say stream elements or whatever is this one that's working? All my stuff's broke. 
Everything's broke. Okay, so nice big layers. Okay, done. Don't need to touch it again. So we'll head back up to our stream only gameplay. And in here, we're going to add a source, but the source is going to be a scene. So see here that we've got our selection from what showed on the left. We're going to add in our gameplay scene. We're going to add in another one, which is our camera source. And then finally, we're going to add in another one, which is our alerts. Everything stacks up. Oh, and that's fine. What we can do now is rescale it. You'll notice that it does stay the same size because you're taken from another scene so just be wary of that but there's our alerts roughly somewhere in the middle we've got our camera source which is in the back and i'm going to shrink it down so that a nice little top corner as if i'm playing a game doing game stuff and then the gameplay scene takes over the whole background so you'd see all the background of course the blue box wouldn't be in the middle for your alerts because you would have your own alerts overlay from stream elements i'm just showing this as an example so what we want to do is make sure you've got each source added in its own scene combine them together throw them into one scene boom done now why would we go through all the hassle of making a bunch of scenes and adding them in their own their own source here, each source in each scene, and blah blah blah. Well, that's this is why, okay? So, let's say you've got yourself a nice stream, no, not stream deck, what's it called? The, the zippy up green screen, right? From Elgato, who don't sponsor this video, by the way, not sponsored by anything. So, let's say you've got one of them, right? But sometimes you want to have your room in the background, sometimes you want to have just gameplay in the background, you want to be cut out. Think of the hassle that it would take for you to go into here. Oh, let's go into my camera source and add a filter. Oh, the filters the filters deleted itself. Oh no. Chroma key. Oh, where's the where's the right shade of green to mm, that looks about right. Yeah, we'll go good good stuff. Okay, great. Then you have to go in and oh god, that looks horrible. <laughs> you need to go in and change that each time. Now, with scene nesting, you can have that already set up. So, what I'll do to show this off is I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to remove the filter. So I'm going to delete it completely so there's no filter. I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to make a new scene. It's going to be called, uh, let's call it just chat, right? So, the idea is that there's no there's no gameplay it's just you talking to chat and you want a big camera source and all your high definition glory right brilliant now the issue is when you add that filter into your scene no, into your source when you add the filter into your source it affects your camera in every scene but what we're going to do is we're going to create a new scene that has the filter of the green screen so how do we do that we take our camera source which has just the camera we duplicate it so this is going to be camera green screen no i don't have a green screen it's the same thing so you'll notice that camera and camera green screen exact same thing okay now we don't want this what we want to have is we don't want it to be a video capture device in here that's not right so if it is that delete it okay so we're going to delete it we're going to delete video capture device too remove boom so camera source camera green screen okay what we want to do is add a scene for your camera source into here so we've now got camera source with a video capture camera green screen has camera source now that's scene nesting is it it's that simple that's scene nesting well i've already done it 
up here with the gameplay scene. Brilliant, fantastic. Now, to get the green screen, you want to apply the filter on the scene, not on the camera source or on the video capture or on this source here. We need to apply the chroma key to your scene on the left hand side. So we go down to filters, add chroma key or green, scale it way up so that we look all funky. So we've got this horrific looking scene where the green screen would effectively be col coloured out and whatnot. But when we swap back to camera source, it's perfectly fine. Look at that magic. So instead of having to go in and footer about with changing filters and applying filters, you just could already have it set up. And what you can do with that is have your just chat and scene here with your camera source. We're going to go into the gameplay source or showing off gameplay where you want to be green screened. Add the green screen scene. Hey, <laughs> nice rhyme. And there you are. You've got your camera with the green screen applied. Simple as that. It's already set up. When you pull that, when you pull up your Elgato trademarked green screen that's flashy and zips up and down, you can just swap over to the gameplay scene. Boom. Instant green screen. And then we just want to swap back. Hey, look, this one's all green too. Who'd have thought? You have the big green screen behind you, but you're just chatting, whatnot. Now, of course, if you want to have a scene that's just always green screened, then you would always use your camera green. You'd always use the camera green screen scene as a, a source, as opposed to using your camera source as a source. I've not really chose the naming convention very well here, have I? But you get the gist of it, and I think. That more people should use this uh, to show you mine. This is what mine looks like. I'm not streaming in a while. My internet's not quick enough in the slightest to, to stream where I'm just now, but I can make stuff that helps you guys. So that's what I'm doing. But this is what mine looks like. So I've got sources for alerts and desktop and whatnot. Get my stream only scenes. And then all we need to do is add these on to your stream deck if you've got one, your phone app if you're using the phone app video coming out soon on that by the way uh yeah that's pretty much it and that is us at the end of the video there's not much more to say on scene nesting it's a bit of playing around with it figuring it out yourself and messing more with the filters and using it to create something a bit unique where you might have originally thought oh i'm quite limited by obs and i can't have this and this at the same time but with scene nesting you can do it at the same time it's really powerful and honestly I implore everybody that watches this video to use scene nesting in some kind of fashion for their streams or for recording video content. It's, it's so much better and by far the best way to use OBS in my humble opinion anyway. But for now, thank you very much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Hopefully uh, this helped, if you get any questions leave them down below in the comments. If not. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.